when we picked him up. He was just so afraid. He wouldn't even make eye contact with us in the car. Someone had failed in somewhere along the way. Do you want to pick him in? Do you love him? We had been trying to adopt the dog for the last year and a half. Then along came Wolf. Like, no. You don't want to come in? He didn't know how to come into the house. So obviously he had been living outside. He'd never felt at home before. He wouldn't come into other rooms. It was really hard to try and let him know that it was okay to walk into a room. He sat and stared at the wall for hours. And even like when I touched him to comfort him, he was cowering away from me because he was afraid I was going to hurt him. I had a bed just to let him know that bit of comfort was there. He sat on the cold floor. He's doing really good. It made me know that he knew he was safe here. I would be sitting on the sofa watching TV and he'd come in and uh, put his head under my hand as in to say, rub me. Whereas he didn't even know what that was when we first took him here. He'll jump forward and then he wants me to jump forward towards him. And then he goes flying off, runs away as fast as he can, and then we'll come back and do it again. Mm. If I go out the back, he will run in circles around me, and he kicks up the grass and everything because he's so fast. He's a little menace. He's crazy. What? Good boy. <laughs> come on. Come on. Are you the other dog we have is a quarter of his size. She's tiny and she's actually sleeping in the bed with him all the time. He's like a personal hot water bottle for her. He doesn't trust anybody. He's now used to us and he loves us and he trusts us, which is everything. Hey, comfy. It has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my entire life. To be able to take a dog out of a really bad situation and give them what they deserve. They don't deserve anything other than humans to love them.